a goddamn party up there, man. It's May 6th today. There's a little uh, crazy... I've never seen weed packaged like this before, is what I'll say. So I'm very excited to check it out. Hello, hello. So there's only like two cannabis lounges in Los Angeles. One is at Artist Tree. It's like right above a dispensary. This is also above a dispensary. This is Goat Global. Goat Global has like the fucking nastiest selection of weed ever. They have like the hype exotic pack type shit. So, so that's good. I hope we're going the right way. It's like a house. It's like a fucking house up here. That's what I'm doing. What's up, my guy? Hey, what's up, what's up? My life is not great. Oh, hey, man. Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We here, man. Just met a, met a couple cool people. There's Fidel walking away right there. Actually, we're hopping in the shop with him because I need to cop some. Uh, there's a couple packs left. Look at that, man. The selection here is nuts. We got wizard trees. We got Doja Pack, Don Marifos, LA Family Farm, super dope. Like, people come here for the hype shit. Like, if you want to pay 60, 70, and 8th plus, people come here for that fucking that gas pack. You know, like, look at that. Real, look at all the hat, bro. The hash selection is ridiculous here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're about it here. Yeah. Let's go. We're not buying tacos, we're buying weed, actually. Let's go, that's fire. Look at this. So what is it? Oh shit, it's a whole lot of things. Your taco in and your consomme, and this is your radish right here, <laughs> nice. which is actually a, a gram of papaya rosin. Ooh. Top shelf flour right here, baby. Yeah, fuck yeah, let's get it. That's awesome. Whoa, that's crazy, bro. This is the most creative packaging yet, huh? Like, this is the most creative packaging I've ever seen for sure. This is a half ounce. So you get a half ounce of flour, a little consomme, get a little bitty at taco, eighth, and then a gram of papaya hash rosin. 300 bucks out the door. I've been taxed worse, I guess. Fuck it. And we get fucking tortilla papers. <laughs> soup vibe. Soup vibe. He's not a soup kind of guy, man. Oh, Sefo's not a soup kind of guy. I can't even believe it. We'll open up the taco pack when we get home. A uh, little, little barbecue stop at first. You know what we're on. I just realized I forgot to record like 90% of the meal, but it was delicious. Alright, it's been several days now since everything that you just saw previously in this video, and it's pretty fucking, it's been a crazy week, bro. This video went insanely viral. I don't think I've ever had as much hype to show something off, ever. Like, I, I've posted a ton of products, I've posted a ton of weed, I've posted a ton of like, posted a couple puff codes before they were out and those get hype and everything, but like, the amount of people that were like, Eric, post the video, I wanna see the weed, blah, 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 like, the video got like eight million views in a week or something like that. Like it's still getting reposted every single day. I think it's about time we bust this open. But first, give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Daily High Club, man. If you don't know, Daily High Club is the monthly subscription box shipped right to your doorstep of absolute stoner essentials. Each month is themed. I think they got a little Cinco de Mayo for this month of May. So we got a little, a little spiciness, a little jalapeno pepper action going. Every single box, you're gonna get wraps, papers, a lighter, and a brand new piece. But also, you get a couple themed goodies, man. So we have a little, oh, Discord notifications. We got a little devil mood mat right here. We get a little, a pitchfork dabber. We got a little, a thummy. I don't even know what you call this, but it's got a little opening right here and you can like stuff your bowl. Pretty cute, pretty cute stuff, man. We got a nice little rolling tray. And that's a pretty good motherfucking value shipped to your doorstep every single month. You don't even have to go to your smoke shop. This piece is what we're gonna be smoking the bud out of today. And it's looking, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, wait, this is kind of dope. Wait, this is kind of, <laughs> we got a little hot sauce. And I thought this was the bowl, but there's another bowl included. And they also included a banger, which is great. But I think this is just, it's a literal just fucking, <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. All right, let's smoke some fucking birria pack. Birria? Birria? Beer. Let's smoke some taco pack right now with the little salsa motherfucking. What? This thing is cool. That thing is cool right there. I like that. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, shout out Daily High Club. Make sure to check them out if you haven't already. And let's get into this pack right here. The fact that the bag is even themed, so Life Is Not Grape is the person who created and cultivated this whole entire thing, so shout out to him. I'm not sure if it's a team. I only met one of the people and it's like one person behind it. So special shout out to him. He's an absolute legend. A mastermind, right? Like a master at his craft kind of thing. Like even aside from all this marketing shit, like he makes really good weed. So I think that's like worthy of smoking and showing. So that's dope, but yeah, man, I mean, I mean, come on, bro. The most ridiculous pack, the Berea 8th. 
ridiculous right here. If you worry about percentages or whatever, it's it's 36% THC, all right? But you shouldn't worry about that. Half ounce of consomme. I'm actually not sure if this is the same strain or not. I think it is. I think they're both birria, so there's not like a separate strain in here. So we got 17 and a half grams of flour, a pack of tortilla papers, and then one gram of, I think they said papaya something rosin. Um, it's, it's in the form of a little radish, you know what I mean? That's definitely papaya. That's some of the stinkier papaya I've ever had. Now, before we get into it, all right, this is like the most controversial. I added a comment to the IG reel just to add a little bit more controversy. Out the door, this was $300, all right? So if you break that down a little bit, we get 17 and a half grams of flour and a gram of rosin, right? So like, it's pretty much a $50 eighth, which is kind of regular in California. Like we see that a lot for top shelf. It's a $170 half ounce, or we'll say $160 half ounce, $80 gram of rosin, which those prices don't necessarily like jump out to me, right? Like there's a lot of, but, but sometimes it does. Like some people, when I posted that comment, the amount of people that are like, bro, I get my ounces for $100, you're getting scammed. And it's like, it, there's just different, I'm in California, there's different, there's different prices for this, right? Like growing weed in California is more expensive than anywhere else. Factually, the water's more expensive, the electricity's more expensive, labor's more expensive. Every single aspect of growing this is more expensive here. So like, yes, it's gonna be more expensive. Yes, there's eights for 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 dollars regularly on the shelves, all right? I know that's like blasphemous to some people watching this. They can't even believe it. They can't believe that weed gets more expensive than $20 an eighth. I, I know, okay, it's crazy, but like, you gotta understand we don't all smoke on stepped on shit, all right? I like my quality stuff. Quite, quality cannabis goes exorbitant prices. There's a thousand dollar ounces out there. I just saw someone buy a $1,600 ounce. You heard that right. There's packs, there's full pounds going for 1,600, bro. But there's also ounces going for that prices. So there's like, you wouldn't go to a fucking steak show, like a steak festival, with like a gas station steak and be like, mine's cheaper, so it's better. I'm starting to say this a lot. Cannabis is the only thing where people brag about having the cheapest shit, and it doesn't make any sense. You wouldn't brag about having the cheapest like jewelry or clothes or food, or you wouldn't brag about having the cheapest car or the cheapest taste. But for some reason, it's like, my weed's only fucking $5 a gram. It's like, why Why is that cool? Like, why? That's not cool. It's not, no. I almost don't want to open this. Is that fucked up? Knowing that this is the same weed as this, you guys don't mind, right? Like, I kind of want to keep this. It looks cool, bro. It looks cool. All right, don't fucking hate me. This is the same exact weed, so we're gonna and we can see more of it, right? The fact that this is like a lot bigger. Hopefully, we can see some um, some bigger nugs and such. So, first time, like I said, I've had this for like a couple weeks now, bro. We haven't even busted it. Up. We haven't smoked any of it. I haven't smoked a lick of this. I waited for you guys. The consomme. Oh. Oh shit, it almost does smell fucking spicy in a way, you know what I mean? Usually when you open up a jar of weed, you get that immediately, like I feel like nowadays you get either gelato or like a skunk or like an OG, you know what I mean? But this one's like, there's no immediate smell jumping out to me. Let's take a little bit of a, oh, hang on, let's get the close up going. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Those are looking like some nice, healthy nugs. Good trim, oh my goodness. These are looking like pristine nugs, brother. Come on now, this is that hand trim. That's what I'm saying. Like you can get cheap weed and it can be fucking machine spun and machine grinded and machine, you know what I mean? But like, there's a motherfucker in the lab cutting this with scissors. Okay, wait, this is actually really good fucking weed. I mean, it's not that like I was expecting it to be bad weed, but you guys know. There's a lot of there's a lot of hype behind a lot of things that just don't end up being so good, but this is <laughs> this is looking fucking nice so far. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a while since we've had a bud review, to be honest with you. I feel like we've been reviewing products or reviewing pens recently. A hyped bud is always welcomed, man. You guys already know what we do for the uh, first smoke. For the first bowl, we gotta grind it up with the fingers, man. We gotta make sure we lose none of those terps to the teeth grinder. Make sure we're losing none of that. We're getting all every single cannabinoid, every single fucking flavonoid, terpene, every single thing that this bud has to offer, I wanna smoke it right now, you know what I mean? I wanna get the whole, the whole shebang, skis. Bud consistency is incredible, by the way, absolutely incredible. Not nothing too, 
nothing too drenched it's not too moist it definitely breaks up but it's not dry either but it's definitely got a little bit of a give it's got a little bit of a tear oh that's terpy i fucking love it first rip of the berea pack everybody I, i'm gonna call it taco pack all right there's gonna be people you don't even say it right you mean me i'm sorry i love you cheers Okay, immediately, that's a smooth bud. When you can just inhale and inhale and inhale, you know what I mean? Like when you take a bong rip, sometimes it stings immediately. That's how I know it's like, <coughs> I feel like bong rips are some of the best way to taste bud or like test out bud. <coughs> because a joint and rolling it up will kind of mask a couple things. You know what I mean? You're getting a lot of just, it just tastes like smoke a lot of the times. But like a bong rip, there's a certain like, there's a certain something when it touches your lips, when you inhale it, when it gets to the back of your lungs, like there's steps to it. Sometimes it hurts, sometimes it stings, sometimes it tastes really good, sometimes it, you know what I mean? It's all, it's all different. The first thing that I recognize from this, it kind of reminds me of Blueprint, is um, it's just really smooth, bro. Like, I didn't feel like I inhaled anything. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you inhale bong rip and it, it feels hot, it feels warm, it feels heavy. Like the smoke doesn't taste or feel good. This is smoke that tastes and feels good. You know what I mean? I'm fucking with it 100%. Let's get one more bong rip in, get another taste in, shall we? And then we are gonna go ahead and fuck around with the rosin, bro. We're gonna fuck around with a little bit of a rosin, dab. Let's go. I think we're gonna, we might just rock it out of the Carta, man. I've been rocking the Carta a little bit more recently. You guys have been asking. If you want a Carta versus Puffco video, let me know in the comments right now. Uh, I've heard that. I feel like it's one of my most requested videos. Like, everyone's always like, Hey, Eric, what's your favorite strain? Hey, Eric, how much weed do you smoke in a day? Hey, Eric, Puffco or Carta? Like, it's, it's gotta be top three, top five questions. So, let me confirm. Let me know in the comments right now if you would like to see that or if you would like to see any other device thrown into the mix. But I feel like those are the top two, especially because, I mean, they're actually, they, they're probably the top two by market share, but like, they're the most too expensive as well. And I feel like they got to, they gotta be the most known, you know? Everyone, if you don't know of Puffco, you've hit a Puffco, or you've seen a Puffco, or you've got a friend with a Puffco, you know, um, and it's cool, it's cool. So yeah, let me know if you want that in the comments right now, and let me know what you're smoking on right now. Are you smoking on Taco Pack? Are you smoking on some fucking GG4? Are you smoking? Bro, I haven't had a Gorilla Glue in forever, man. This one goes out to anyone smoking on some glue or an OG right now. I love you, cheers. I actually don't know the lineage of this, um, but dude, this is some good bud. I'm not gonna lie, it's some good bud. Um, I'm not sure who produced or processed the rosin. I'm not sure if he does both, <coughs> but um, yeah. Overall opinion on the bud, <coughs> I think it can, I think the, um, the flavor profile can come through a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. It's a super smooth bud, and I'm feeling great from it for sure, but I think the flavor can come through more, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have to give it an 8.2. If the flavor was there, I mean, the structure and the smoke is there. And I think it just needs a little oomph on the flavor. But at 8.2, 8.25, that's a great score. Fuck, it's smooth. All right, we'll bump it up to an 8.4. We'll bump it up to an 8.4 just because of how smooth that rip was. Usually when you smoke like the leftover bowl too, that's when it's kind of fucking, you know what I mean? That's when it hurts. <clears throat> but that's a good one right there. All right, fire. Now, it's time for the rubs, baby. <sighs> nice and cold cured. One gram and a punk bitch. Let's get to it. There's, there's not much more to say, man. Um. <laughs> Bro, wait, I'm cooked as fuck off those bong rips, man. I didn't really, they weren't really like the fattest bong rips either. You know what I mean? It was only two bowls, but it'll be all right. Oh my lord. All right, I'm getting cooked, man. I got homies to pick up at the airport here in a couple hours. That's gonna be a fun time. We got the people visiting Los Angeles. That's always a fun time, bro. Fuck yeah. Um, I hope you guys are just having a good day, wherever you're tuning in from, wherever you're smoking from. I fucking love you, man. This one goes out to, I, we gotta dedicate every hit to something, right? This one goes out to, if you can't smoke right now, actually. If you're watching this video sober and you either like don't have butt on you or you can't smoke, you got a test coming up or whatever, probation, who knows, man, who knows? There's always a reason you can't smoke, right? 
I'm smoking for you. This one's for you specifically, man, and I appreciate you. Uh, holy shit, I am cooked. Wow. Cheers. Oh, that's a, that's a papaya. I've never even had a papaya. I don't even know what a fucking papaya looks like. I've undoubtedly consumed more cannabis papaya than real papaya, 100%. Probably same with like <coughs> glue, I hope so. <coughs> I've definitely consumed more Gorilla Glue than like actual Gorilla Glue, you know? But like Skittles, that's a tough one. You guys think you've smoked more Skittles or eaten more Skittles in your life? Cause that doesn't count cause Skittles are heavy, like one Skittles a gram. So like, you know, that isn't, that's a fucking unfair, like volume wise, you know what I mean? A jar of Skittles or a jar of weed? Cause a jar of Skittles is gonna be heavier, but we're not going by weight, we're going by amount, you know? That might be a tough one for some of you, huh? That's a good one right there. What other ones are there, wedding cake? Honestly, I've definitely had more weed wedding cake than I've only been to a couple weddings, you know? But like ice cream cake, I've probably had more ice cream cake IRL than fucking smoking weed, you know? I don't know why I said IRL like that. <coughs> but you know what I mean? <coughs> I'm just a gamer at heart. <coughs> Overall opinion on the pack, Overall rating on it as a whole, I think we have to consider that it's probably the coolest pack ever. Like, let's let's 100% be real. Like, the the only ones that really contend. I mean, there's some cool ones that you see out there, out and about. But like, the first one that I'm really thinking of is the hentai from Super Dope. The fact that it comes in the sleeve and it comes with stickers and everything is really cool. Uh, and the fact that you can get that consistently, like every single one is like that. Like, this was just a limited off run. This is not being sold anymore, as far as I know. You know what I mean? So. I don't know, it, like, it's the coolest weed packaging I've ever seen, personally. I don't know about you guys, but we have to throw that into the mix, right? If we're not gonna, we gotta rate the weed, I did, it's an 8.2, the rosin's probably about an eight. I've had nine and 10 out of 10 rosin, and this isn't that, but it's damn good. I've had definitely five and six out of 10 rosin, and it's definitely, definitely better than that. So I'm gonna have to give this like a, a solid eight out of 10 rosin, 8.4 out of 10 weed. And it's, it's probably priced like nine out of 10 weed. You know what I mean? It's probably priced a little bit more than it should be, but let's be fucking real. This is dope. I am paying for the packaging. Like some people don't like to admit that. I buy certain things sometimes because of the logo, 100%. I'm not gonna lie. Like we all fall victim to this little game of consumerism or whatever you want to say, but like this is undoubtedly dope. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. Radish rosin is undoubtedly dope. I would buy not this again specifically because of it, you know, I already bought it again, but I would buy another themed pack if it was eight out of 10 weed, you know? I'm not upset about it. I would spend 300 again on the same amount of weed in a different theme. You know what I mean? Like it was a cool, bro, the fucking what? <laughs> like it was cool. I know this costed like 25 cents to make or probably a little bit more, like a couple dollars, right? But it was, it was cool. It was a cool experience. The whole event was cool. Um, I don't regret it at all. I'm a, I'm a happy camper, you know what I mean? Maybe some people wouldn't be in the same boat. Maybe some people would just see past it and they just see it for the weed only and they're like, you know what, not worth it. And that's completely fair. We all value different things differently, you know what I mean? That's the cool part about it. Like, you don't have to buy it if you don't want to, but like, if you want it, it's there, you know what I mean? It's cool, I, I, I like it, I love it almost, right? Um, it's, it's creative, and I fuck with creativity as, as much as humanly possible. Growing weeds and art, selling it is an art too. 100%. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to tap the like and subscribe and comment if you're new and all that shit. If you did manage to cop one of these, if you did manage to cop one of these, how did you think of it? I'm not sure if there's really many of them. I'm pretty sure it was limited to like maybe 100 or under than that. So if you are watching this and you copped it, you're a special one. I love you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Make sure to just have a good day, all right? Just smile at someone today. Give someone a compliment and fucking tell someone you love them. I love you. And of course, stay high. You know, I'll fucking see you guys later. I'm stoned as shit. Peace.